The 2024 edition of the Cannes Film Festival, a festival held to celebrate cinema and reward the year's best films, is now live at the Palais de Festival in France. And we for sure expected our favorite movie stars and worldwide celebrities to show up in their most grandeur fashions. Now, while some showed up and showed out in their stunning looks, others just failed to impress us. So here are the top 10 worst dressed at the opening night of the Cannes Film Festival 2024. Take a look. <laughs> First up on our worst dress list, we have the supermodel Heidi Klum. And for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this red off-the-shoulder long dress by Saeed Kobisi. And tonight, she was styled by the amazing Rob Zangardi. And I just don't know if I'm totally sold on this look by Heidi tonight. Now, we definitely saw a lot of red dresses at the opening ceremony and while I just think that other looks just brought it hard, just in terms of like structure and design, this one on the other hand just felt a bit weird to me. Now, maybe it's just me, but I just really did not love this ruching moment that we see at the front of the dress and how it just ultimately just hangs up in the air. I personally felt like this look would have made more sense if the front of this look was a full-length gown going all the way to the ground. Also, I really don't think that Heidi's height was taken into consideration before putting her in this look because just the way it is folding and puckering on the ground just shows that this dress was way too long for her i also really did not love this hair on her i don't know but she really doesn't really make her hair for red carpet and that really just bothers me so yeah this look by heidi just did not do it for me or bring the fashion so it's a chop for me up next we have the beautiful lily gladstone and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this midnight blue sequin long dress by gucci and tonight she was styled by the incredible jason rembart and was i really living for this look or loving it all together i really don't think so i mean it's the cans where is the fashion where is the dramatics where is the statement these are definitely the questions i need to ask because this look in particular is lacking in all that category i mean the dress for me just feels really regular schmegula it feels lazy and it just looks like she didn't put any effort into the actualization or the styling of this look and that to me was a bit of a letdown for me so yeah maybe next time but for now this look is definitely a chop for me up next we have the stunning sasha loss and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this black body connects type dress with ruffles by alaya from their spring summer 2024 collection and i'm sorry this was just a bit pedestrian to me now there was just something really off the rack about this look and i don't personally feel like this should have been a look she should have brought on the red carpet i mean this to me just looks cheap it looks inexpensive and this is definitely something she should have worn for the night out with the girls and not necessarily the cans red carpet so i'm just a bit confused by why she chose to do that also i'm really not in love with this ruffle placement at the midsection of this dress i mean just having the ruffles in that section just really cut her off in such a weird way and i'm really just not loving it so yeah this look by sasha loss just really failed to bring it when it came to the fashion and it's a chop for me up next we have another lady in red we have the beautiful juliette binoche and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this red off the shoulder long dress by dior and i don't think that this look was really doing it for me tonight now the first thing i really notice about this look is how stiff the material is and because of how stiff the material is i just would have expected more just in terms of like fitting and tailoring but it definitely seems to be lacking here and i really don't love that now because this dress is not well fitted to her body the dress just looks like a square and it just looks ill-fitting on her i personally would have gone for a different type of material to just really achieve the fluidity of the look because this was just a bit weird to look at in my opinion also the design of the dress just seemed pretty random to me because i mean there was literally no need for that square train draping down to the floor it just did nothing for the dress so i'm just really wondering why it was there in the first place so yeah 
this look was just a bit wonky to me and all over the place so it's a chop for me up next we have the eccentric wilma ellis and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this aquatic blue braided cagey strapless long dress and i guess we're just making and wearing anything nowadays to pass as fashion because this is ridiculous i mean what am i really looking at what was the vision of this dress what was the mission because i'm generally really just confused now from the braiding like details that we see on the dress to the strands like falling down to the floor to the cagey rosy type details that we see on the dress this in itself was just a lot for me to take in this to me was giving me very failed art school project it was giving me crafty and i was really just looking for the glamour to just you know you know compliment myself but i couldn't find it so yeah till i can find the glamour i'm sorry but this in itself is gonna be a chop for me up next we have the iconic meryl streep and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this white long wrap dress by dior and i love miss meryl streep and i think she's an icon however i just was really expecting a little more effort when it came to her looks and fashion and this one was just a little bit of a letdown for me now this definitely comes as a shocker to me because she started out so strong serving us looks from the press tour and while i thought she was really going to channel that same energy here unfortunately that did not happen this look to me was random it was bland and it was just so boring so yeah this look by meryl streep is definitely a chop for me up next we have the beautiful thalia besson and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes Film Festival, she had on this red silky off the shoulder long dress and, you know, just putting up this look against other looks on the red carpet, this one is just a bit basic to me. Now, this should be the very definition of go girl give us nothing because this look is giving me absolutely nothing and am I really gagging? I really don't think so. Now, I don't really think the dress fits her and I just feel like there is a cheapness and inexpensive to this look that i really can't get behind now this definitely looks like something i would see on forever 21 shigen and the likes it's just giving me very fast fashion and not really glamour of the red carpet so yeah this look by thalia didn't just hit the mark for me and it's a chop for me up next we have the incredible vicky krebs and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this violet two-piece with white detailing and this to me just gave me very much cosplay it gave me very much costumey it was giving me very party city like i'm going to celebrate my birthday with my niece and not necessarily the red carpets of the can film festival so there was just a bit of a disconnect for me to be honest i don't know there was just really something crafty and gimmicky about this look that i'm really not appreciating yeah it's gonna be a chop for me up next we have the ebony princess maimona dokure and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this patterned two-piece pinky number and i definitely have questions i mean where was she really going to was she going for brunch with the girls this is giving me very daytime casual easy breezy and that's not really the vibe of the Cannes Film festival so i'm just a bit confused as to why she would show up like this this is cute for somewhere else and not the red carpet so i'm just gonna go up ahead and chop this look right now finally on our watch dress list we have the amazing gong lee and for the opening ceremony of the Cannes film festival she had on this nude tone long dress and yeah this is just a no for me this looks droopy it just does nothing for her shape it really swallows her in a weird way the shoes on the other hand looks clunky i don't know i just really can't get behind this look it's not doing it for me it's not screaming glamour it's giving very pedestrian very i want to go pick up my children from school and not necessarily the red carpets of the Cannes film festival so yeah this look by gong lee is definitely a chop for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i shared with you guys my top 10 worst dress at the Cannes film festival if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i will definitely see you guys in the next one but for now it is bye guys au revoir